what is up print squad i am back with another video and today i'm gonna be printing i, I got quite a few things i'm gonna be printing but in this video right here i'm gonna be uh printing some practice jerseys for my bitty ball team uh and i'm gonna be printing my swag design as you see i changed it up a little bit and i have two different um I have a big design and a smaller one because I'm going to be printing some more jerseys later. But today I'm going to be printing the small kids jerseys. You know, so if you want to see how everything turns out, stay tuned. T-shirt check. All right, I put tape on all four sides right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But tape is right here on all four sides. And because I'm only printing one color, I'm not going to use the, uh, I'm not using the registration system. So basically, what I will do is make sure that everything is lined up evenly. Make sure it's lined up evenly. And I'll take this and put it on there. All right, that should be pretty decently lined up. Yeah, when I'm using that 11 by 17 sheet, sometimes, you know, it's a little tricky to line up. I should have wiped this off. I'm going to clean this off right quick and I'll be back to burn this screen right quick. Alright. I'm going to lightly spray this. I don't want to spray too much on here. It just feels a little bit dusty. Make sure I got my glass covered. Don't want no electrocutions up in here. And that's just plain water that I spray on there. <laughs> and just take this towel. Make sure it's 100% dry because I don't need the screen or my film getting wet. So, it's right there. Now, I'm going to grab my top and place it on here and hit start. The screen is dry as you guys see and I'm going to be printing the small 
logo today or the small design today. So let me see. Let me see which one I'm gonna be printing on. Probably this one right here. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and register this screen. Um, when I mean when I say register this screen, um. I need to clean my palettes or replace my palettes, but right here you see this center line right here. And if you look right here, you see I have these plus marks right here. I use these plus marks to line up the center of the design. So um, that's what you're going to see me doing now. I do have more detailed videos on stuff like that, but you just have to go and check the playlist for um, like registering screens and stuff like that. So, I'm going to try to zoom in so y'all can check it out. Alright. So, basically, what I'm doing is, hopefully you can see through that, like right here, that plus mark. And this top plus mark, since I'm printing the top design, I just make sure that they are on the center line. And go ahead and uh, lock my screens down using this. I'm going to hold this screen down as I tighten this up. Just to make sure that it does not move. And I always like to use a towel because when you get to twisting this so tight, it kind of hurts your hand a little bit. Unless you got some rough manly hands or some gloves on or something like that. So, all right. Then I'm just going to take the tape and tape up the screens. I've been using this uh, painter's tape mostly lately. This is just for convenience. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taping up what I need to tape up, make sure the screen is right, do the test print so I can get started. Alright, I got my screen taped up. I'm going to let you guys check it out. Right here you can see, you know, I have it taped all around in the corners and everything. Have in all of the uh, pinholes and everything taped. And right here I have this, this is just plastic that I taped down to cover the other design so that I won't mess that part up although I'm not using it today but yeah that's so I won't get anything on the shirt you know cause it'll go through there but um, I got everything set up so I'm gonna go ahead and do a test print let you guys check it out then I'm gonna grab these jerseys and start printing them hope everything works out alright I got the jerseys right here and the ink that I'm going to be using today is the Super Poly White, Total Ink Solutions Super Poly White. I really love Total Ink Solutions White ink, and because these jerseys are polyester, I'm going to be using the Super Poly White. Hopefully it'll give me better coverage than if I use the ink that was not specifically for polyester. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this ink up. It is freezing cold here. It's actually like... 30 degrees or so around 30 degrees outside this ink is a little thicker seeming than the other uh, total ink solutions inks but it could be because it's cold because I'm telling y'all it's freezing so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and once I get it mixed up good I'm put it in the screen
All right, so I got everything ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and print a test print and see how everything turns out. I was kind of thinking I might maybe should have printed the inside of these jerseys first, the white side, but I guess I'm gonna go ahead like I am. Yeah, and I was thinking that because I didn't clean, change the, pa the palette on here. So I was like, if I go ahead and print the white side, but hopefully everything will work out. But these are just for me. So, you know, if they if it don't work out, it's all good. All right. Heated that up a little bit. you see it's looking nice I like it I think it came out nice but the thing is um, you would not be able to put two layers on here so you kind of stuck with the one layer like what we have right here but it, it came out nice we really didn't need the two layers I'm glad I used that special ink so that it would come out right belt down a little bit actually let me check let me check the cure time on this ink first check the cure time on this ink and then possibly let me see okay the cure time because it's for polyester I was thinking it may it's 290 yeah it's good it's good because it was it was at like 315 318 so yeah it's good so I'm gonna go ahead and print the rest of these and when I get to the second side I'll be back
10 of them to print so this this right here here's the front and you reverse it over and this is the the outside yeah and they did kind of stick together you know as you print but all you have to do is peel them you know it's, it's not gonna uh affect much just peel them and you're good to go especially with these two colors uh yeah some of the ink probably did kind of come through but because this is a dark color it worked out but yeah you can check everything out there's the blue side and because these are just practice jerseys for my kids to practice in when they scrimmage that i won't put a number on back but yeah this is the full jersey watching if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you haven't subscribed to the red channel at the end of this video you'll see a red and a green logo click on the red logo to subscribe to that channel and be sure to hit the notification bell on both channels if you have not joined the print squad group on Facebook do it today because I said so. And you can also follow me on Instagram at tshirtchicktv. I always try to leave links for you guys below the videos for any products and equipment that I use in my videos. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. And I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Print Squad out.